Okay. Moving on. Uh, anything, anything useful before I move on? No. Ahead is an electromagnetic barricade. It uses the EMP wave to disable any UG or cyborg that tries to cross. Unless you are a contractor with the proper access code, of course. Now what? Kill a contractor and take his access code, perhaps? A pity little pets like yourself aren't given the code, hmm? Yeah, okay, so use the access code from the enemy. Here we go. And, uh, wow. And we got the dudes and the geckos. Of course we do. Building up that supply of rations. And which dude is the dude? Who is the dude? Uh, uh. Well, I, I probably imagine we can't really avoid anything at this point. <laughs> we can't even avoid anything at this point. Well, Just, me. well, they found me. Yes, best of luck to me because, because, well, it's not like anyone else can help me. Right, Mistral? No, I'm not going to waste any ration. <laughs> Look, I've learned my lesson. I learned my absolute great, great lesson with rations. Never waste them all ever. So I think I might as well just die right here just to regain back some health. You know, just to regain back some health. You know, it's a, it's a legitimate, it's a legitimate strategy. It really is actually kind of a legit strategy when you really, really think about it. Because look, look. I'm trying to survive right here, right? Like, I have to... I have to basically just, you know, be the bigger dude and... And, oh, nope. Looks like I can't, you know, just quick kill them. Doesn't look like that at all. I'm just trying to be the bigger dude and do things more methodically, more rationally, you know? So, you know... I'm gonna go nuts. I would like to go nuts. But I don't want to go nuts. Ooh, ooh, I got the I got, I got the access code actually. It's a good thing there was no enemies in sight, actually. Otherwise, that could have been incredibly dangerous. Or like very few enemies, actually. Alright, dude. I know you I know you have to A? Hey, <laughs> hey! I just like how all these characters can do the exact same skills, except you know, one of them is Blade Wolf, one of them is Jetstream Sand, the other one is Raiden. All right, see through Main Street. So, what now? You think you will run to the coast to freedom? Ha! Let me save you time. You won't make it. Just give up now, while you still can. How about no? <laughs> um, no? <laughs> Look, man, we all know how this goes. Ugh. We all know how this goes, dude. We all know how the story goes. And the story goes is that caution mode actually takes shorter to actually take care of in this game than in any other Metal Gear series combined or Medi or any other Metal Gear game combined so congratulations Metal Gear Rising you win the award for best costume mode ever made okay there we go there we go <laughs> see I just love doing these quick kills and uh it apparently makes me very very sad that uh Sam couldn't even couldn't even do that. Yeah, that makes me really really sad. Like Jetstream Sam is cool, but he can't. But like, he can't do the same skills as Raiden, which basically amounts to like, you know, doing the quick kills or just um, upgrading himself or whatever else. I don't know. It's just it's just me being me. <laughs> Uh, is there anything in here, though? Well, I see an item box down there. Down there. Uh, well, that's actually kind of far out of my reach. So I might as well just, you know, go ahead and just move on from there. 
Okay, so there is something down there. Well, there's a gecko. And quick kills! <laughs> See, that's the cool thing. See, that's the cool thing about, you know, them that I like. It's just like these about Blade Wolf and Raiden that I like. It's just, you know, the quick kills that you can do. That's pretty damn cool. It's great. Great! Uh, wait. Oh, no! <laughs> yep. That's cool. That's cool. What would Blade Wolf even do with uh, AP grenade with grenades anyway? I don't think I even need them. I mean, I can deal with one, one you know, fanciful gorilla. I can deal with one of them. But two of them? Unacceptable. Just no. <laughs> Just new. Ha ha! Yes! 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 <laughs> I love that. I love that, and I love you. Uh. Now, let's see. Where do I go from here? Well, this. This obviously answers the question. Alright, anything else? Ooh, item box over there. Cool. Alright, so, gee, I wonder if this is going to be a, another fuel cell. A data store. Okay. Alright. So, a little bit of extra thing. So, that's cool. I mean, rations are cool. I mean, or extra, li or extra HP would be cool. But, hey, what are you going to do? Aha! 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 See, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of liking this a little bit more, actually. More and more by the day. Because, you know, now I'm actually starting to incorporate, you know, quick kills into my equation. Which I didn't even need. Which, honestly, I didn't even need at all during during the whole of uh, the write-in of the main playthrough, actually. I didn't really need to use quick kills. I just wanted to get, you know, the BP. I just wanted to get, you know, the BP to satisfy, to satisfy my need to upgrade Raiden. But this is, but this is actually getting to be a whole lot more, a whole lot more, you know, intense for me. You know, without feeling the need to upgrade anything. Wow, that was a very, very great, you know, <laughs> that was a very, very great thing that I just witnessed. Camera functioning. Camera functioning. Okay, two dudes. Two dudes ahead of me. And, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, good. <laughs> See? Now stealth is kind of getting to be more important to me by the day. Okay, there we go. Okay, I can I can actually see where I'm actually aiming. For once. All right, please. Yes. <laughs> see, this is actually more fun to me, and and to be fair, actually, to be fair, this actually makes a bit more sense for Blade Wolf when you really, really think about it. Ah, because well, Blade Wolf is actually. Because I'm starting to think that Blade Wolf is actually more outfitted to stealth rather than, you know, the traditional Metal Gear Rising gameplay that we've seen up to this point. Like, uh oh! Like, <laughs> like, Blade Wolf is just basically, you know, this hunted killer, hunter, killer, gatherer, something. This dude. I'm just gonna say, he, Blade Wolf is this dude. And this dude is now on the run from these. From these guys from his own side so it would pretty it would think it would be pretty obvious for him to actually you know try to actually get away from you know all these from all these guys that were once on our side it might not make any sense what I'm or might not uh, no 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 I'm safe screw you <laughs> I was actually kind of worried that uh, that wouldn't you know register but hey it worked, because I did it. Now, can I actually get... Okay, there we go. More electrolyte packs. Of course it would. 
You know what? I'm just basically starving for, like, any given, like, rations at this point. <laughs> no, actually, no, 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 no. Endurance upgrades. Like, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say I'm basically starving for endurance upgrades at this point. That one dude. Who are you? Camden. Okay. All right. That's cool that you decided to show up finally after all this time. Like, after all this time that we actually get to meet you face to face and it's in a boss fight. Of course it would. Okay. How do you function? How do you function, Mr. Man? So you're a giant robot with a giant axe, which is cool. And... Yeah. That's basically all you do. That's basically all you are. You're a giant robot with a giant axe. Again, very cool. I mean, sad thing that I can't actually... <laughs> that I cannot actually... Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I would like to try that again, actually. I would, actually. Okay, nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Can't do that. Eat it, nerds. Uh, wow, that was 40% of my health. Congratulations. Congratulations, DLC. You've officially made a boss fight that does way more damage than the final boss of the main Metal Gear Rising. Of course. Of course. Okay, yes. Wait, wait. Did I do it? Nope. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. I saw the... Uh, <laughs> I heard the Metal Gear alert sound. I thought... I thought this would actually be a thing, but... Okay. Next time he does it... Okay. Okay, let's see. Alright, so when he turns behind... Uh, well, he's only going like... Oh, God! <laughs> Okay, do it! Yeah! Press the B button. Press that B button. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was actually pretty cool. That was actually pretty cool. Jesus. That, that was awesome. Like, And also he apparently took notes from the Sephiroth school of surviving stab wounds. Because, because he got stabbed in the chest. Which automatically makes him really, really cool. Oh, God. Okay. No, 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 no. He, no. I think it was too late. He actually did spot me. Okay. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Let's see. All right. So, I think with this last kill, I think we... I think we'll almost get him. Okay. Come on. Come on. How about no? Oh. A. 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 Alright. Alright, dude. Alright, dude. Alright, dude. This is so very dude of you to actually show up. And you only get like one little feature. Ooh! Haha! -ha. <laughs> and I think I'm, I'm I'm a 
only barely hearing the music right now, actually, but I can imagine it's pretty cool. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. He's Sonic the Hedgehog on those. Holy crap! Cut your life into pieces! Cut your life into pieces! Yeah! <laughs> I love that he just says, Oh God! Oh God! Ah! <sighs> said all dogs have their day. <laughs> you little fuck. Finally, I am almost free. You piece of shit. What about the freedom of this whole country? <laughs> freedom cannot be forced on others. It must be earned for oneself. Meiji, goddamn son of a... As you said, almost. What have you done? Why, I have activated your range inhibitor, of course. <laughs> You deceived me. Such a mighty intellect, indeed. Then I have lost. Shake. Shake. Come up with a story for the debriefing. Mistral. Do you may see. This fight has nothing to do with freedom. Then why? You see only logic and reason. You would never understand. so much. Blade Wolf. Yep, that's your name. I hope you like it. So, just after that was when Raiden saved you? Yes, he freed me. Like me, he had been forced to kill. He has witnessed the dark side of human nature. But still, he continues to fight for what he believes in. Yeah. And that's why I believe in him. He'll keep holding on to it and won't ever let it go. See, now that's what I like to see, actually. That's what I really... That's what I just want to see. That I didn't get to see out of, you know, Jetstream Sam. You know, Origins, man. Origins. Like, trained via VR missions, yet was taught, you know, unintentionally taught about, you know, freedom. You know, that was actually really, really good. 
I honestly really, really like that. And yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Credits for another DLC. Again, the something that we didn't need. And yeah, that was DLC Story 2. And pretty much the last that I'll play of Metal Gear Rising. Until I eventually get those comments like, hey, you missed this, and hey, you missed that. If I do miss something, like, I'll probably, you know, compile, like, all the information that I miss, and I'll probably just show it off in the meantime, though. But, yeah. But, yeah, DLC Story 2. That was actually way more cool than I thought it was going to be, <laughs> actually. Um, surprisingly, I didn't really think that it handled much differently from, you know, Raiden or Sam. But, you know, the, the added stealth element was pretty cool. When it was used properly. Because that platforming session, that didn't that didn't really fit the whole tone of it at all. It was just like, you get spotted, you're infinitely dead. <laughs> yeah, I wasted a little bit too much time on that whole platforming session to just to be like, uh <laughs> Maybe like close to nearly ten minutes though. But I think this will fit to either like one or two videos, either or. But uh yeah. That's it for Metal Gear Rising Revengeance for me, actually. And, yeah, it's basically just like I said. These stories were cool to witness. These DLC stories were really, really cool to witness. I mean, I would have liked a little bit more backstory on Sam, but, you know, I was satisfied with Blade Wolf's story. I was satisfied with that. Plus, that ending was pretty sweet. It was pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. Pretty, pretty sweet. I like Sunny. She might be a bad symbol, but, you know, she's relatable. She's relatable. But, yeah, Metal Gear Rising. That's This has been such a fun, fun time. This has been a fun time. Again, I really wanted just to do something fun with Metal Gear Rising whenever I got around to it. And I feel like it paid off rather nicely for me. Because, honestly... Honestly? Like... You might be a you might be a douche and call this like you know the worst of the Metal Gears because you know it's not really Metal Gear, but I don't think this is really meant to be Metal Gear. This was just meant to be you know a really really awesome action game with stuff that was super super over the top, like freaking Senator Armstrong is just like the best thing ever. <laughs> just. It really just goes to show you that Metal Gear isn't just a series that, you know, is super serious all the time. It has a sense of humor, and this one just went balls to the wall. Just, like, it went no holds barred on that. And, you know, Kojima himself was, you know, at nearly at the head of the production team, which is really, really sweet and awesome. So, he gets his stamp of approval. I give this game the stamp of approval. Metal Gear Rising, I can see myself going back to it and just playing it over and over again. But not on any higher difficulties because, oh my god. <laughs> I've seen hard mode and, you know, 40% damage on the final boss. No. 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 I just don't wanna. I don't wanna. <laughs> Alright. So, with that being said, that's it. For Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. This has been very, very fun. And title drop. <laughs> yep, just title drop. And no, nothing else? Nothing else. Of course it hasn't. All right, so total, well, 35 combo, which is pretty neat. Remaining enemies, one. Yeah, screw that one. Uh, continue six, yeah. Blame that platforming section. <laughs> because there was only, like, one ration and nothing else. Yeah. And I don't even care if I got a D on that. You know, screw that. <laughs> Just screw that. Always. Screw ratings. I beat it, and that's all that matters to me. I beat it, and that's all that matters. 
But here we are. Full circle. Full circle. Jesus Christ. Again, I'll probably compile like comment the inevitable comments that I get because this is all pre-recorded before the, even the first part comes up. So I'll compile like all the information that I can possibly get from comments about, you know, possibly things I missed. And hopefully I can, you know, come back to this one day and just show this off. But in the meantime, I got bigger and better things. Well, bigger and better things than the Metal Gear series in general, really, because let's face it, I'm basically trapped into let's playing the other Metal Gear games at this point. And the next one, which is definitely not the next next one, but the next one will indeed be Metal Gear Solid 1 for the PlayStation 1. And let me tell you, even though I've only played it this year, it's quickly become one of my favorite games of all time, just ever, just, oh my god. But, you know, as for the Metal Gear series, for me, well, it's not going to be a blind playthrough. I'm going to play this on my own time. I'm going to be playing Metal Gear Ghost Babble for the Game Boy Color. Yeah, you would think that Metal Gear Solid wouldn't even fit on a Game Boy Color, but there you are. And there will be an impressions video of that. And after that, I only have two more to go. Peace Walker and then the Phantom Pain and I'm done. Jeez. But yeah, this game's been really, really fun. It's been so much fun. Just my reactions to everything has just been so much good. So much good. And yeah, definitely a keeper. Definitely a big old keeper. But as for what's next in the Let's Play timeline, even though I kind of sort of originally wanted to have Metal Gear Solid to be the next one, I think I'll wait on that a little bit. Instead, you'll get something that is traditional for me. You'll get something that's traditional, yet we haven't seen in a very long time. So, yeah, be ready for that. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.